Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today with Diane Bedlin who is the market manager for the Ken Island Farmers Market and she's going to tell us a little bit about what all they have there, what type of vendors, when the market is. It's, it's a year-round market which is unusual. So Diane, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Tell us a little bit about your market. Let's start with where is it? Okay, it's at um, the New Christ Church Parish down uh, Route 8 South. Okay. It's 830 Roman Coke Road. That's like right past Mattapique, the mat the schools and everything, yeah. right? Yeah, it's like right, um, on the right-hand side right after the American Legion. Okay, and what day is the farmer's market? So, um, every Thursday. Every Thursday. Except for Thanksgiving, we do a oh, Tuesday. Yeah, that's a Thursday, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we do a Tuesday market. It's a really good market. People love, we had uh, the last two years, um, or last three years, we've, we've had turkeys. Oh, okay. Her heritage turkeys. Nice. And yeah. what time does the market run? It's uh, three thirty to six thirty. Okay, so that that gives people a chance when they get off work to get there and you know get whatever they need. So tell us now the stuff that you have there because can I can I yeah. go back? Because um, I know my my husband works in D.C. and I know mm -hmm. it's hard for him to get back like right in time. And people have said you know it's it's really hard for them to, to get back in time and we do take pre-orders if people oh, know they're going to okay. get there at 6 30 and you know they so um there are you know like on the facebook page um on the website all of the vendors um have their uh, contact information and if you know there's something that you want the um soup people the ladies of the church do an amazing gourmet soup collection and salad collection and they have a pre-order list okay so it's actually because I know 630 is a little bit right a little bit yeah you're right for people, people that, that are coming, coming back from across the yeah, bridge yeah so, so we've been working on that because it is hard we can't sell tickets right, right. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to no, know I like that the pre-order how much thing. to bring so. and and at the end of this we're gonna give um, everyone all the contact information because I think that that I didn't know that and that's a really good um, added bonus for the market so so tell us about the vendors I, I you have so many and such a, a different group of vendors <laughs> well I mean that's why I have it on a Thursday because mm -hmm. a lot of the bigger vendors and the vendors that are really interesting they're booked solid on right. Saturdays and Sundays that's true that's true so um, f trying to find a day when most of them could come um, was and that we weren't around the bridge traffic time mm -hmm. and all that oh, kind yeah. of stuff. Well, <laughs> Thursdays have become the new Fridays. It seems like mm -hmm. we've had some. I thought it was Wednesdays were the new Fridays, but yeah. <laughs> what happened to Thursday? I don't know. Um, but we have. Um, it's really interesting because I think a lot of people think for a year-round market in the winter time you have less vendors, and we really have mm -hmm. almost 100 percent participation all year long. Wow. We only have two vendors that don't come in the winter time okay. but we have they we have a hydroponic lettuce guy that comes you know in the in the winter time so he's got or well all, all, all year long and we have uh, uh pre -Appy gardens who is a uh, certified organic um produce that comes all year long it has huge greenhouses oh wow and so we're we're pretty in and um uh, pre -Appy brings i i do encourage we're not a producer only market mm -hmm. because I do understand that there are farmers that I, they farm they it's right. hard for them to leave the farm so I encourage um, my vendors to um, help other farmers out and bring and it's their stuff um, very most of them are very clearly marked I'm still working on that <laughs> right um, but you know pre -Appy brings hummingbird uh, hummingbird farms it has uh, hydroponic tomatoes so we okay, have tomatoes, so you can have tomatoes year all round through then. yeah wow. uh, year round and, and we have mushrooms um, all year round my um, black bottom farms is a um, uh, meat farm. Um, she does um, mostly pork, and um, she does specialty growing, like in the winter and the uh, fall for turkeys. And she does do some poultry. She's and she's very experimental and works really just as fascinating. I, she fascinates me how she works, and um, she's uh, experimenting right now with mushrooms. Okay. And she does a lot of uh, whole hog sausages. Okay. So um, another thing I encourage with my vendors is to kind of use each other's products mm -hmm. in their their products. 
So she's got some specialty sausages highlighting some of the other vendors' oh, products. Oh, that's nice. So you're getting um, a little bit of everybody in one product. Yeah, yeah. And, and if people aren't picking up on this, it's not just produce that you carry there. Because I think a lot of people think, you know, farmer's market, it's produce. And you're talking about somebody that has meats there. Yeah, it's meats are um, quite quite interesting because I don't think a lot of people understand the seasonality of meat right and that you know technically you can't you can't uh, chickens are very stressed in the summertime and they're you know so it's like we do have chicken we don't have mm -hmm. chicken all year long but we do I have uh, three different vendors that carry chicken um, we do have a tendency to carry whole chicken and people are still learning that's I love my vendors are very um, educational mm -hmm. and they spend a lot of time educating the public on because we've gotten away from how to cook a whole right. chicken or how to use the bones to make a bone broth and things right. like that so we do spend a lot of time with that as well which is I think really cool even teaching we've done demos on how to teach people how to cut up a chicken and oh, then wow. freeze the parts okay. and things like that yeah because a lot of people are intimidated by that and, yeah and it's yeah, well, nice some to people have somebody that are like to one or two people in a house they're like oh I don't eat a whole chicken and it's right. like well, you're going to eat, you know, I mean, that's that, that's even better because you get a better you, price. It's so right. much. And you can get more meals out of it if you yeah. know what to do with yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But we have a really neat um, uh, specialty vendor um, that sells, um, uh, he, he's called Two Oceans True Foods. So he has a fishery, he owns a fishery in Alaska. So he does okay. um, Alaskan salmon. Um, all, all three types that are, um, I think, the most popular, coho, sockeye, and keta. And he does halibut, ahi tuna, mahi. Wow. So it's a really, it's a, I just, I just love having him there because right. I'm so spoiled. So now we have produce, like meat, nothing. and fish. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Yes. We're covering I think, everything. I think I could keep people out of the grocery stores if I right. just that's, well, that's find what I'm thinking. local toilet paper. Right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> then they'd never have to go. I say that all the time. People are like, why would you say that? And I'm like, no, I hear. But I, it's true. Right, we have right. so many. We, we have a really nice round uh, s selection of things. And he also carries local. Um, he uh, has a um, fishery that he works with in New Jersey. And... Um, uh, locally to get scallops okay. and um, oysters and um, the, the, the like so it's not it's not necessarily like you know l like everything else there is seasonality right. to that the uh, the Alaskan um, seafood he's very very sustainable and that's why I really like him like what I do for the land he does for the water right. and I feel very strongly about that so it's um, all sustainably caught and fished um, so we we got we got meat we got fish Produce and then we fish. go into dairy okay um we have uh chapel's country creamery oh. that brings oh they're so good <laughs> <laughs> they're uh bringing in their actually this week their yogurt is back in okay. their uh, honey yogurt which is really cool they only do flavors with local products in it mm -hmm. so they do a local honey and a local maple okay and then um a vanilla, which uh, it's not really <laughs> vanilla is not really local, but they um, don't do anything with you know a lot of additives and things like that. Um, and uh, they do raw milk cheeses that are just yeah. I've had their cheeses; oh, they're very good. Their blue cheese has won all kinds of awards, and they have a Chappelle, which is not unlike a Camembert or a Brie, which is you know you can't get that local, right? So that's it's it's they have just an astounding product. They're out of Easton. Do you have bread still there, or um, at the market when they're? Um, yeah, we have with? we have um, two uh, two different sources. Uh, Magnolia Bread Company That's does um, a like a focaccia. They do a lot of really interesting um, like sourdoughs. Okay. And um, they've he's he's very malleable. He's he, when, when he first started, it was just you know like bread, bruschetta, and things like that, and then. Um, people are like, well, we like sweet stuff. So right. he's, he has some really interesting, um, he, he's uh, seen the light with the Maryland Beaten Biscuit, and he uses Kim's lard in the Maryland Beaten okay. Biscuit, and it is not a rock. It is amazing. <laughs> this is incredible. We have a maple guy that comes down from Pennsylvania four times a year, and it's like as soon as the maple cream comes into the market, and people are like, you see all the vendors sitting there with the maple cream and the, and the beaten <laughs> biscuits. and oh, Eating geez. it, yeah. Yeah. 
And we have other dairy as well. Um, Triple, Triple J Farms, that's an egg farm. Mm -hmm. um, his uh, son-in-law has nice creamery. Okay. And so he brings in uh, milk oh, to the okay. market. And he has a yogurt as well. And I'm still trying to coax him. He has a... Uh, he has a butter, but he sells out so quickly. Okay. So we haven't been able to get his butter into the market. We've had some other butters, but we haven't been able to get that one into the market um, yet. I'm working on it. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. But we have another um, bread person that's just started recently. Um, I've, I, I've always been uh, conscientious about people's diets, mm -hmm. and that there's you know a lot of people on specialty diets. So we have... Um, a new woman that started, um, Crystal Anders, does um, uh, gluten-free. I was wondering um, if you were going to say that's what it was. And nice. it's really cool because she does. Um, you know, she's like, well, what do you think would sell? So she works really hard at, and, and she's kind of new at it. So she's really open to suggestions mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, she's, um, I, I told her it'd be probably be good to do some paleo, some, you know, sugar-free, like with stevia right. and things like that. Not meaning, you know, with some kind of, a, you know, artificial sweetener, but right. things like where, like, like, people in this area with Lyme disease, you know, can't have any, you know, any, anything that's, that's So that's sweet. good because your vendors are, they're looking to, you know, do stuff that, the people that are coming there, it's not just your generic stuff that you're putting out there. They're actually working with, uh, you know, the customers that are coming. Well, I, I do that. I, we have a very active Facebook page, mm -hmm. and I really use the Facebook page a lot to kind of gauge what the people want and okay. ask them, you right. know, what they want. Because, I mean, this is direct marketing right. <laughs> at its finest. Right. I mean, if you don't come, the I mean, you know, these farmers can't feed their kids. Right. They can't feed their family. And I so know there's... Oh, the I'm the sorry. one thing that that um, just has started is wine. You you can yeah, I, wanna, last I, I June. don't want to forget about that. Oh, I of course, get that you covered. Don't forget about that. <laughs> yes, yes, we have um, last June. Um, it was uh, determined that um, wineries could come in and sample. You can buy by the bottle, not by the glass. Okay, <laughs> that worried me at first. You know, I'm like, I'm I'm a lightweight. I just smell right, it. Right, right. I'm like, you know, I'm like, I don't know. But it's been very successful. It's really interesting how, as different things have, you know, mm -hmm. come in. Um, I believe that there's a um, there's a new um, exemption now for breweries. So hopefully, I'll be able to get some microbreweries in there. Um, that would well. be nice. Um, yeah, we have a new um, a new winery starting uh, this week. Great Frogs from Annapolis, and it's it's interesting because. You know, a, a few wineries that have contacted me, I'm like, oh, they're so big, and, you know, why do you need... But it's it's very interesting because I definitely get get comments from people where, oh, they're not that fond of right. Maryland. Well, like, they had one wine, you know, and they weren't that fond of it, and, you know, Maryland just has sweet wine, and Maryland has all kinds. They, we have some really interesting areas in the state yep. that grow amazing grapes. And I don't, I don't think people consider Maryland a wine... Place. Yeah, it's, but it's, it's, you know they don't. They need to be educated. Yeah, a liquor store doesn't really spend the time sampling wines, and mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you walk in a liquor store, you're going to get you know an Australian right. Shiraz. You're going right. to you know, um, so it really does give them a leg up, even at the liquor store, not only at the market, right. but even at a liquor store. Going, you know what? I actually like that. That's actually you know really good. So now we've gotten everything covered. No, that I don't you know have, that you what? have there. No, not everything. Well, we, we've <laughs> there's touched ice. Cream. We've touched on a lot of stuff, um, um, and the best thing to do is for you to come out to this farmer's market and see what's there. Please, please. And, um, again, when are, what's the time, the date? It's 3.30 to 6.30 um, every Thursday, and um, if it's raining, we're fair, we're fair weather. <laughs> we're fair we're weather there the farmers. whole time. <laughs> um, if it's raining, we go inside. Um, in the summertime um, last year, and it was just sweltering hot. We mm -hmm. went inside and turned on the air. And, and in the winter, you're inside. Uh, oh yeah. So you're. I mean, it's yeah. always there. That's people need to know that. And yeah. tell us about your Facebook page, email, website. Give us all that information okay. so that um, people know how to get a hold of you. The um, the, the the Facebook page is Count Island Farmers Market. Okay. And um, I put out, um, because Thursday is not, I guess, your typical day to have a farmer's market, I, um, you know, I like to give people a reminder. So on uh, Wednesdays, I put out a newsletter, and I put it out via Facebook and um, email. 
Okay. So um, if you go, if you like the Facebook page, you'll you'll then receive you'll that. Get notification. Yeah. You, you'll, you'll, uh, and if not, if you want to receive the newsletter, you can uh, contact me at uh, Diane Bedlin at gmail.com. Spell that for everybody. D i a n e, uh, b e d l i n. Okay. At gmail.com. And um, uh, we have a very active Facebook page, and um, I'm really I'm really excited about it because I feel like. Um, you know, a lot of my vendors tell me they're so impressed with the education level and what people, the questions right. people ask and, you know, and where they're like kind of where their heads are with uh, lo local food and asking the right questions. So that's, that's really exciting to me. And there's a website too, right? Yeah, it's Ken Island Farmers Market okay. at www. <laughs> I want to make sure they can find <laughs> you every way possible. Dot com. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's. Um, I mean, we we try, you know, to have a reminder in the front of the Bay Times and you know right. and the update and everything, um, but we're always there. I mean, we don't we don't. So every week you hear this people. Every week, every week every you week. can come out and you know get everything you need there except for the yeah. toilet paper. We didn't go. We didn't go through it. And well, there's even more, folks. There's even more. <laughs> yep. Yep. But wait, we're don't gonna have. Well, I'm, and I'm gonna invite you to come back another time, um, maybe in another month or so, and do another one and talk about that some more seasonal awesome. stuff. So that would be awesome. Um, in any case, get out there, go to the farmers market, and go to their Facebook page or their website and see what they have to offer. So thank you so much for coming thank in, you. Diane. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.